Dream Total Tokyo, and Hiroshi played a, a small, uh, like a one scene role in that, and I was also acting with him in the scene, and while we were doing the scene together, I thought, uh, this guy should be the star of the movie, not me. <laughs> and I was already working on White on Rice at that time, and so I just started to tailor the role for, for him, and I, to make it into a Hiroshi vehicle. Yeah, I met Dave when I went to the audition for Big Dreams, Big Dreams, Little Tokyo, his first film, and yeah, I got casted, <laughs> and I yeah, and he decided me use me one more time in White on Rice. And thank you for coming for sharing sharing our journey of Jimmy. Anyone else? Uh, yeah, I'm back. Can you speak up? I'm sorry. What inspired you? The question is, what inspired me to make the movie? Um, my sister is a wedding florist, and I lived in her basement for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't hit 40 yet, but I was worried about still being there. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, yes. So the question is, how, how much or what did I do to direct Hiroshi? And I think that's probably best answered by... Oh, okay. uh, actually, he do direct a lot. <laughs> uh, but, you know, um, I really trust his dialogue and uh, script because it's really funny. And my character is really funny guy and also loser, but uh, I'm not going to try to act loser or funny guy. I try to act... Uh, uh, he's struggling, and uh, he got divorced from his wife, and he came to the United States to find wife, because if he cannot find wife, he's going to be really de depressed, and he has to get over his depression. So I just focus on to get over the depression. Yeah. I'm not even, I'm not really sure he knew it was a comedy when we were making it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't really have, I, uh, I'm pretty hands off and I uh, cast everybody pretty carefully and then just let them do their thing. Anyone else?